The lack of volatility in the markets is dangerous, according to Saxo Bank Chief Economist Dean Jakobsen, who says we need to know that the danger will be with us for some time. The main driver of the lack of volatility is the fact that we have too many cross currents in terms of economic and political events. You could argue, well, there's been the Ukraine crisis, there's been the dramatic slowdown in the U.S. economy relatively to expectations. There's been the talk of deflation in Europe. Why hasn't the market created volatility on back of this? Well, because the expected policy response to this is that the ECB goes full throttle in terms of the QE. The tapering in the U.S. may be slower than originally uh, thought out. And in terms of the Crimea crisis with Russia and Ukraine, of course, because we are still waiting for see, to see the absolute resolution. Underneath all of this, we also have the fact that this year, 2014, in our opinion, is a year where everything sort of mixes up to a big fat zero. That leaves the market to say, well, as long as nothing happens, we will drift slightly higher in, in the equity market valuation and we will slip, slip, slip uh, slightly down in terms of monetary policy because we still expect both the ECB, to some extent also Bank of Japan, to come to the market and create more vol uh, monetary policy. But why does he think the low volatility is dangerous? The world seems to think there is a stable, permanent equilibrium which doesn't make sense if you think about it. Unemployment is still rising, debt to GDPs are still rising, the Crimea situation, if anything, is increasing in tension, not decreasing. The, the, the U.S. still have a lot of stuff to do on social welfare and welfare spending. But for the next one day, does it matter? Absolutely not. Maybe in the next week, the next month. But for two, three years down the road, with no activity, the world will fall into not only deflation, but also a recession. So we have a need for this volatility, which we are wanting as traders. But the immediate future doesn't indicate any changes. But that is exactly, in my opinion, in my experience, exactly the time where you should be wanting, needing, uh, positioning yourself for seeing this volatility increase. So where does Steen think the volatility will come from? Where will the changes come from, though? The changes will come from some catalyst. It may not be the obvious one. The obvious one would be QE fully from the, Q, from the ECB. It could be that Bank of Japan goes even more aggressive into their policy of conducting, maybe even finding that final third arrow they've been looking for for some time, or the European parliamentary election. But I think we need to realize that all of a sudden, the market, market is sleeping like a bear right in the winter right now. So what will happen is when the bear wakes up, we'll have the change.